Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Dragon Quest IV Let's Play. I'm your host, Saigon. We're here in... a place. Endor? No. No, we're, we're on our way to Endor, I think, is what it was. We needed to deliver a letter. I'm sorry, it's been like, it's been a couple of days since I got to play, and it's, uh... I'm playing too many Dragon Quest games right now. At this time, I'm playing Dragon Quest IV, Dragon Quest X, and Dragon Quest IX. <laughs> <coughs> I'm so sorry about that. <clears throat> also seems like I can't stop getting like a cough. Driving me bonkers. Driving me bonkers. All right, we can hire this guy here, but we're not going to yet. Um, oh, we can totally get this shop here. But... We're not going to do that yet. So, Zen reminded me about a cartery sword trick. Uh, so long as I get a cartery sword purchased in um, Bally Morals shop... And then just never work there again. I should be able to go back later and just purchase them. And then I can give them to Torneko's wife to sell once we have our own shop here in Endor. So thank you, Zen, for uh, reminding me of that. I appreciate it. Let's see if we can prevent a war. You're from Lakanaba? Then the bridge must have been prepared, I presume. Prepared, I resume. <laughs> Find the princess's le prince's letter in the items menu and select use to read it to Princess Veronica. Torneko reads the prince's letter. My beloved Ronnie, I still daren't mention anything about our affair to Da, and I'm just after finding out that I'm just after finding out that he plans to invade your dear land of Endor. I had to do something before that happened. Please inform your father before it's too late. Oh, my Regan, so selfless. I must inform father at once. Daddy. Daddy. I suppose I should probably check and make sure that this is recording properly. It is! Hooray. <laughs> ah, my dear Veronica, I know, I overheard what the gentleman said. But there's no cause for alarm. Now, it's Mr. Taloon, I believe. I would like you to deliver this letter to His Majesty, King Seamus of Ballymoral. I have received a royal scroll. Now I am a messenger instead of a merchant. Hooray. <laughs> Hooray. It's all good. We need the levels. Just going to keep telling myself that. It's about the levels. Almost walked right past not Valley Moral. Where do we come from? Lakanaba. Lakanaba shop is where we need to get the uh, cautery swords. I guess we can't get in at night. It makes sense. I mean, that is where the royal family sleeps. I just got really annoyed looking at my gold, because I've got like 20,000 sitting on me in DQ9. I'm looking at my gold here, I'm like, what the hell? So much DQ. So much DQ. 
I'm gonna have to find something very non-DQ to play after this one. Cleanse my palate. All right, 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 right. I should probably read this letter to you. Excuse me, your highness. Your Majesty, King Seamus of Ballymoral, I apologize for the rather abrupt nature of this missive, but there is an urgent matter I must bring to your attention. It seems my daughter, Princess Veronica, and your son, Prince Regan, are in love. Though I would not recommend excessive haste in the matter, I wish to propose that they marry. Sincerely, King Norman of Endor, I bet you feel like a dick now, Seamus. So that's the cr crick, 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 is it? <laughs> Well, if Regan marries Veronica, he'll be the next King of Endor in any case. I'll lay claim to Endor without having to lift a finger, so I will. Ahem. So, uh, your service to the country is duly noted. I'll send an envoy to Endor right away. You can leave now. This guy's just a dick. Such a dick. Although I want to give props to the other king for being like, Oh, hey, my daughter's in love and I can prevent a war. Two birds, one stone. He never left his... Oh, oh, okay, no. Tell her I can't wait until we're married! She can't wait either, buddy. <sighs> Listen, lady. My name's Torneco Taloon. Alright, so we got that taken care of. Let's try and get a cautery sword. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, my voice keeps breaking. <laughs> Oi. Let me get a cautery sword today, please. Please, so I never have to do this again. I hope Zen's little plan works in the DS version of the game. that you're all buying divine daggers that's that's cool and all but sell me a cautery sword uh -huh. cheap bastard Should probably go home at some point. My wife is probably like, where did he go? <laughs> Although at the same time, I'm kind of annoyed that she hasn't like filed a missing persons report or anything. Was she expecting me to go missing? Did she put out a hit on me? Did I miss it? Did the guy just be like, oh, the guy disappeared. Collected his money anyways. Yeah, I took care of it. You'll never see him again. I'm gonna show up. She's gonna be like, what the? F Suddenly, Dragon Quest got very dark. <laughs> Anytime. It is. Uh huh. Yep, yep. Just sell me a freaking cautery sword, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
No. Get out. I want your junk. See, that guy can come back. I'll let him back through the door. You don't even have 30 gold on you? What did you think you'd be able to buy? A bamboo stick? God. They're all awful. We're going adventuring after this. This, <laughs> this is crap. <laughs> Screw the cautery sword. If it doesn't show up today, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with it. I know that, yes, we can make a lot of money really easily with it, but Saigon is an impatient man. And, you know, that, that gold that we're going to need in Chapter 5 is going to come from grinding for XP anyways. So it's fine. It's fine. I see you haven't asked where I've been for, like, the last week. It's fine. I know you don't care. Mischievous Mole and Scissor Beetle. Let's go find out how much it would be to purchase that shop for ourselves. Wait. We have iron armor and leather armor on us. Let's go sell that. We're going to need the money. We need a lot of money this chapter. I know the shop is expensive, and then there's something else later that we're going to need to spend a lot of money on. Ooh, we can also pick up that abacus. We already have the iron apron. I think the abacus is all that we actually need at this point. Let's go grab that. Should have enough money now. I think. I want to believe. I gotta believe. Mm 
Yep. Kind of curious to know what it does in battle also. I cannot remember. All right. Let's go talk to the old guy. Excuse me, sir. I've broken into your house, and I would like to purchase it. We need permission from King Norman as well. Well, let's go ask the king. Talk to the king, I guess. Now that war has been averted. I've already received a reply from Ballymoral. It's good news, and largely thanks to you. As promised, I hereby grant you permission to open a shop in Endor. Okay. <laughs> that was easy. I don't remember that promise, but... I'm kind of a flake, so who cares? Nobody's surprised. Old man! Yeah. 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 35,000! We, um, <laughs> we got some saving to do. It's all right. I think I know. There's, uh, there's a treasure somewhere that sells for, like, a huge amount of cash. We're gonna, we're gonna go looking for it. I'll save... Uh, hiring Laurel and Hardy until we reach the next dungeon. Is this it, or is this the tunnel? This is the tunnel. I started excavating this tunnel so I could get to a port town I'd heard of in the east. Tis me dream to travel the world, you see. I have a ship to me name and go off in search of treasure. To have a ship in my name. But I ran out of gold, so I did. Tis a pricey business, digging a tunnel lad. And in jig time, I found these gray hairs on me head. If I could only raise another 60,000 gold coins, I could restart the work. I do not have that kind of money, sir. I'm afraid I do not. I kind of want to get into combat. So I can okay, yeah, we're gonna have to hire Laurel and Hardy here. I wanna check out what this abacus does. Oh Well that's not bad at all. And we got some more iron armor to sell. down here? No. Probably scary monsters. Eh. Eh. Depending on what you call scary. Tornado's kind of buff right now. Oh. Oh. Level five. Another steel broadsword. We're going to keep hoarding those. But we can go sell the iron armor. Not there. 
back up in Valley Moral. What's up with just like this one section of land? Where the monsters are horrifying. Ow, oh, that's terrible. No! No! It's bad. It's bad, guys. It's bad. We're dead. God damn it. God damn it. I'll just... I'll edit that out. I guess. <sighs> Well, we're here now. We can sell that armor. <laughs> Damn it! Alright guys, well I'm sorry to end it on such a downer, but you know, thanks for watching the Dragon Quest IV Let's Play. I'm your host, Saigon. Next time we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll be doing the Cistern Chapel next time. So look forward to that. If you enjoy the videos, please hit like and subscribe. I appreciate it and it helps out the channel a huge amount. Thanks again for watching everybody. I'm your host, Saigon, and I will see you all next time.